Hello my people, this is Nduduzo Dandala. Welcome to the second episode of the Grade 12 Exponents and Logarithms lesson. Let's look at the learning outcomes of today's lesson. We have to understand the definition of a logarithm, understand the laws of logarithms and use it to simplify calculations. Logarithms. In the previous lesson, we learned that logarithms are used to simplify calculations. Logarithms have three laws. These are the product rule, the quotient rule, and the power rule. Note how these are very similar to the exponential laws we learned about in the previous lesson. Let me remind you of the exponential laws. Let's look at the power rule. If given a to the power m in a bracket to the power n, this will equal to a to the power m n. You multiply the powers. When given a b in a bracket to the power m, this will equal to a to the power m b to the power m. You distribute the power to each base. If given a over b in a bracket to the power m, this will equal to a to the power m over b to the power m. Again, you distribute the power to each base. And now, the product rule. With given a to the power m multiplied by a to the power n, this will equal to a to the power m plus n. You add the powers. Just make sure the bases are the same. And now, the quotient rule. When given a to the power m divided by a to the power n, this will equal to a to the power m minus n. Here, we subtract the powers. Nikumbule, the bases must be the same. Now, let's look at how these laws are applied in logs. The product rule. The product rule. The product rule states that if given log base AXY, this will equal to log base AX plus log base AY. This is because the X and the Y are being multiplied together so they can be split into two separate logs that are added. Let's look at an example. For example, given log base 3 5 x, this will equal to log base 3 5 plus log base 3. This is because the 5 x means 5 and x is being multiplied. The quotient rule. The quotient rule. The quotient rule states that if given log base a x over y, this will equal to log base a x minus log base a y. We subtract the logs. Let's look at an example. If given log base 4 7 over x, this will equal to log base 4 7 minus log base 4 x. You subtract the two logs. Now let's look at the power rule. The power rule. The power rule states that if you have log base a x to the power m, this will equal to m log base a x. The exponent m comes to the front and becomes the coefficient of log a x. Let's look at an example. Given log base 2 x to the power 3, the 3 comes to the front and we end up with 3 log base 2 x. Let's put this all together. Let's look at an example whereby you have to simplify into a single logarithm. Given log 2 plus log 9 minus log 6. The first thing to note is that the bases are all the same. This is because if the base is not specified, then the base is always 10. So this example can also be read as log base 10 2 plus log base 10 9 minus log base 10 6. Because of board mass, we will start by dealing with the addition side. Here we will apply the product rule. Now the product rule states that if you have log 2 plus log 9, you multiply the 2 and the 9. So you will have log 2 times 9. That's why we end up with log 2 times 9 minus log 6. This equals log 18 minus log 6. Because of the minus here, we can apply the quotient rule. This will give us 
log 18 over 6 and that's why we end up with the answer of log 3. Let's look at another example. Simplify 2 log 3 plus 3 log 2. Here you can apply the power rule by bringing the 3 up to the front to become an exponent. So 2 log 3 ends up becoming log 3 to the power 2 and 3 log 2 ends up becoming log 2 to the power 3. So we have log 3 to the power 2 plus log 2 to the power 3. Here we can apply, we can simplify further. We end up with log 9 plus log 8. And now we can apply the product rule. So we'll end up with log 9 times 8, which gives us log 72. Guys, there are two things I want to highlight for you. The first is that log base 10, 10 is equal to 1. Now, in the place of 10, it could be any other number. So log base 3, 3 is also equal to 1. The second thing to remember is that the log any base 1 is equal to 0. So for instance, log base 5, 1 is equal to 0. So far, we've looked at three logarithm laws. Let's look at the fourth logarithm law. This is the change of base law. With the product rule, the quotient rule, and the power rule, we've had the same base. Let's look at an example whereby you have to change the base. The rule states, given log base AX, this will equal to log base MX over log base MA. Let's look at an example. Given log base 9, 27, these two numbers have a common factor, so you can apply the change of base law. We will end up with log 27 over log 9. Guys, please note that the base becomes the denominator log, and that log 27 and log 9 have the same base. The base could have been any other number. So for example, it could have been log base 327 over log base 39. We simplify further and end up with log 3 to the power 3 over log 3 to the power 2. Now we can apply the power rule by bringing the 3 to the front and the 2 to the front as well. We end up with 3 log 3 over 2 log 3. Log 3 and log 3 are the same so they can cancel out and that is why we have the final answer of 3 over 2. That is all we will be covering today guys. Let's quickly look at the outcomes. Understand the definition of a logarithm? Check. Understand the laws of logarithms and use it to simplify logarithms? Check. Thank you for joining me today. Please be on the lookout for more SchoolTube videos.